You cannot be happy alone and containing your happiness in yourself. That's not happiness. If happiness is some form of union, you have to share it. And this is the position I try to put myself in whenever I'm doing this work. Like, though the temptation, of course, is always there to judge, is to get that whatever is happening for this person in front of me is happening for me. They're me. Let them know. I know I know you as I know myself. Like, if you're being obst obstinate and refusing to, you know, take in the principles or whatever, that's me. Right. And, you know, if you're if you're being happy and joyful and you're doing a good job teaching, that's me, too. Right. Um, whatever it is, it's me in front of me. And if I am willing to join with that and accept it, and receive it, say yes to it, that's the moment of happiness. The light that belongs to you is the light of joy. Radiance is associated. It's not associated with sorrow, right? When you're in sorrow or someone's else sorrow, they're not beaming. They're not radiant. They're like collapsed, but right? like inside like this, right? Joy calls forth an integrated. Remember, integrated means to join together, bring pieces together. That's what integrate means, right? An integrated willingness to share it. Joy calls forth an integrated willingness to share it and promotes the mind's natural impulse to respond as one. To respond as one. Joy calls forth an integrated willingness to share it and promotes the mind's natural impulse to respond as one. Those who attempt to heal without being wholly joyous themselves call forth different kinds of responses at the same time and thus deprive others of the joy of responding wholeheartedly. So, you know, the unhealed healer, the person that's, you know, sad or not happy themselves that are out there, you know, trying to heal, bring healing. It's not like you can't, but because as somebody who's confused within ourself, myself, yourself, you're going to bring a confused response, a mixed response. How much healing can you bring forward if you're not willing to join with a group or with people, right? It's going to be very challenging. And so, so that's the idea. We are our brother's keeper. And what's happening in us is impacting what's happening in others because we're joined. We're one, right? And so, and this is interesting, right? It says those who attempt to heal with, without being wholly joyous themselves call forth different kinds of responses at the same time and thus deprive others of the joy of responding wholeheartedly. Then it says, to be wholehearted, you must be happy. If fear and love cannot coexist, because look, if you're not happy, it's fear. That's all it is. Because love and happiness are the same thing. Love and joy, right? So if they can't coexist, you're not, you can't be wholehearted, right? So if fear and love cannot coexist, and if it is impossible to be wholly fearful and remain alive, the only possible whole state is that of love. You can't be wholly fearful, completely fearful, and remain alive. Because what is fear? Fear is the absence of love. It's not a thing itself. If you are love, and love is wholly absent, you are not. That's the idea. That's what it's saying. So in order to be whole, or wholehearted, it has to be, you have to be completely happy or fully loved, right? That's the idea. And so to be wholehearted, you must, you, to be wholehearted, you must be happy. If fear and love cannot coexist, and if it is impossible to be wholly fearful and remain alive, right? Because fear is the absence of love. The only possible whole state is that of love. There is no difference between love and joy. Therefore, the only possible whole state is the holy joyous. To heal or to make joyous is therefore the same as to integrate and to make one. Because you're making whole. This is why it makes no difference to what part or by what part of the sonship the healing is offered. And here, by the way, it's saying 
every part benefits and benefits equally. So that is why it makes no difference to what part or by what part of the sonship the healing is offered. Every part benefits and benefits equally. So that's why it says, you know, you may have a position in the world where you're meant to be out there, you know, like Martin Luther King or whatever, healing everybody all at once, but it doesn't matter. Your, your part, if it's just with one person once in your life, you're doing as equally important, you know, a purpose on the planet as any other, because you're lifting that person and yourself, you're lifting everyone. Thank you.